As of April 11th, 2021, Remarkable has released a new upgrade. This is release 2.6, which adds pinch to zoom, pinch and zoom, and a bunch of other things. Before we dive in and look at each individual thing, you guys can pause the video at any point in time if you want to read these. Release 2.6 brings pinch to zoom, pinch and zoom. You also have improved PDF navigation. The layout of ebooks have been upgraded as well. When you load in EPUB files, everything used to be justified to the left, but now they're following the more natural formatting that the ebook has. You also have some other improvements like graphical things, some erase section tools, and a bunch of other stuff. So we're just going to touch on everything that we see in the change log here and just go through the four major changes. Pinch and zoom functionality is number one. Let's check it out. This is actually the first time we're doing it. All right, so you do get a A2 style mode when you do move it around. Can we continue moving it around without letting go? We cannot. It renders first. And you know, that's a little thing, but it does make a big difference. And some people catch that. When you pinch and zoom, a lot of people like that you're able to navigate it around in that state. Whereas the remarkable, you actually have to let go, let it render. And you actually can't move it around at all. So once you pinch and zoom, you can use two fingers to move it around, but once you let go and it renders into whatever zoom level you're at, you can't move it around from there. It does absolutely nothing. So that is a little bit of a downfall as well as there's no mini map or real percentage of any kind. There's just a little scale at the bottom with no actual numbers. Improved PDF navigation. Let's see what we have. Bottom left corner, we have a few things here. We have PDF settings. You can change the name. Last page visited or first page, you can choose as the PDF cover, so you can actually change what the thumbnail looks like. Down in the bottom left corner, again, you do have search. Search, you're able to search for any text in the PDF itself, so things that are text findable via text, like tops, high numbers, etc. Things that are stylistic, like the word baseball behind his head, that's not going to be able to be found because it's more of imagery rather than text on the screen. You have page overview as well, which allows allows you to go through a photo gallery thumbnail kind of thing and jump to whatever page you want. You can click the go to page on the top left corner or choose the table of contents as well. However, as you can see here, the side loaded PDF must have a table of contents or else there's nothing for the remarkable to reference. Ebook visuals, the third on the list, I must say it is a little bit nicer. Before, everything used to be pretty much the same font, whether you had a header, whether you had the title or the chapter header, it all kind of looked the same and it was very dry and stale looking and everything was justified to the left. By default, it is now justified to the center. The links still don't work, although they work on pretty much any other regular e-reader. They don't seem to work on here. Now you can, besides the update, you actually can go down here to page overview, search ebook settings and text settings area. You can click text settings and you can still justify it back to the left. So it is more of a default change rather than an overall change, but I'm must say it does look nicer if you compare it to pre update other improvements so it says right here we've added new graphics to the cursor that appears while using the erase and selection tools so when it comes to erasing there is no cursor perhaps they mean the faded transparent lines that you're writing or they mean when you're making the erase section so that doesn't look too different and it's not really a cursor. Selection is this, which is a dotted line. And I can't say it's any different than what it looked like before, but if they are saying that they made graphical improvements to it, well, then I guess they have. They also said general system and stability improvements. We don't really know what that entails specifically because there's nothing any deeper than that in the change log. So we just have to take their word and believe them when they say that the device is overall improved. So make sure you're at the same 2.6 version number and you should be good to go. If you have any other questions, comments, or concerns, hit us up down below and keep checking out Goody Reader for more e-ink related videos. For GoodyReader.com, this is Peter.